Hey, I'm Will Turner, owner of the Blacksican Mexican Soul Food Truck here in Atlanta, Georgia, and I'm making it in America. This is the way most of my days start. We start the week shopping. I used to have to make a list every week, but now all I do is uh, I keep it in my head. So I took a mental inventory of what I needed before I left. We had a great day on Saturday and basically everything is gone. So I, I basically have to get everything. So one thing that I love about this place is everything is really in one spot. We probably spent maybe about 10 minutes in here. I'm loaded up with a bunch of stuff. If there's not a long line, I'll probably be out of here within 15, 20 minutes, which is great for me because I don't have time to spend a half a day shopping. One of my biggest challenges in getting this business started was financing. I needed a minimum of $60,000 to have this truck built, constructed, and purchased. And I had uh, no luck whatsoever. So I'd almost given up on the idea of owning my own food truck. It seemed like one of those things that just wasn't going to happen. So I remembered a, a biography show that I saw on Spike Lee, the director. Spike used his own personal credit to actually finance the production of his first movie, She's Gotta Have It. <laughs> A light bulb just went off in my head. So I went online and I applied for a credit card and was approved instantly. I applied for another one and I applied for another one. Within that first week, I had enough money and available credit to buy my truck. Of course, I got a lot of credit debt right now, um, but I have my truck. And that's pretty good. Going from being laid off this time last year to being a business owner, um, of a pretty successful startup business. I'm lucky to have this walk-in cooler back here, which has been great. This is what I call the, uh, the not real sexy part of what we do. This is basically unloading and getting ready to do some prep. It's been a rough road trying to figure out exactly the right formula, you know, how much to prep, you know, for the week. Business has been picking up, so we've really been uh, prepping more and more, buying more and more inventory, uh, which is scary uh, because you're spending more and more money. Um, and I'm trying real hard to get a handle on exactly what I'm spending, you know, um, so I can see the real growth in, in what we're doing. We're going to prep fish, sausage, melting cheese, peppers and onions. So we come in every Tuesday, we prep for at least Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, and then maybe on Thursday evening we'll prep some more for Friday evening and all day Saturday. One of the requirements from the health department is that you got to have a commercial sized kitchen in order to do your prep. I went through my Rolodex of contacts that I have, you know, and through past relationships I was able to, you know, call somebody who had a friend who put me in contact with a few churches here in East Point. And I wanted to be close to Atlanta because that's where most of my locations are. So we're actually only eight miles away from downtown Atlanta, uh, which was key because that truck doesn't get good gas mileage. You know, you meet with people and you tell them you want to park a truck called the Blacksican in the church parking lot. You know, it's, it's kind of like, whoa, what are you? Well, no, we're not sure if we want to do that. But I received a call back about, you know, a couple of weeks later, um, and they were actually willing to help me out. My biggest challenge is running this business is finding good help. Really, this is an entry-level position for anyone working in the food business. You know, you got a little bit above minimum wage, no health benefits. You really can't offer too much. I need a certain vibe on the truck um, because you are talking about a 16 foot truck and really there's only probably about eight feet of movable space so the personalities have to mesh well because you're right up against each other 
batch of collard greens that I just spent two hours preparing for are now ruined uh, because they were overcooked. We'll be cooking some more collard greens right now.